good morning all right so like i always say at this point <laughs> i won't ask you to like subscribe or hit that bell but i need for you to listen if you see fit okay so what you see before you is three days of darkness covid19 connection uh, i did this video on my other two channels and as i was walking in the front room to get a package off the um front porch my thought fell to why haven't you just put it on the other channel and i thought to myself well i don't want to lose the other channel because this is my family channel this is my hall channel this is my channel where i'm not as serious you get to see just how you get to see how i'm living to a certain extent and I sat down and I was like, well, let me go ahead and open the package. I was going to blow it off. And, you know, those of us who have intuition, that side of you that's like it cares about caring. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to put it out here. A video I already got uploaded this morning, which I had to re-edit it and redo it uh, at Sam's Club, the hall for 374. I had to redo that one because I had to remove something that was on it that would um, my other two channels are shadow ban, and if you know what shadow ban is, that's okay too. Um, I've had several channels, and I've lost several channels because I don't placate. However, I went in and immediately removed something off that other video that would identify would identify where I'm at, and so I'm like, if I'm gonna push this video out here. I need to sort of kind of make myself not so obvious, even though I have an IP address. So I'm going to play this video. You don't have to agree with the video. You don't have to even quite understand the video because though this video is talking about April this year, the 8th, it's talking about the, uh, what is it, the ALF, the ALF alphabet. And that's the Hebrew alphabet, which is crossing over America. If you don't know what's going on when it comes to this kind of arena, Hebrew, Jewish, Christian, uh, Anunnaki kind of thing where this whole game we're inside of playing called life. I'm gonna just going to give you a little bit of insight on what I know. I don't show everything about me because everything about me isn't that important to know about me. However, I do feel like. I got to just take this chance with uh, uh, with you. I have to say, hey, do you care about the one subscribing? Yes. Do you care about the folks that somehow are able to see your feed? Yes. I care about all people. Go for it. Let them hear it. It should not uh, move you to fright because a lot of things happen in the spirit before we see them in the natural. So. I just want you to be aware that something is going to happen in the atmosphere that a lot of people are just too distracted with uh, P. Diddy stuff and too distracted with uh, uh, Wendy Williams stuff and Trump stuff and, and Biden's and Hunter's stuff and distracted with the border, the aliens that way and all that. So... Like I say, it's not about liking or subscribing. It's not even about hitting that bell anymore. Especially on this video, it's all about, I better be about actually showing my works when it comes to caring about people. And because I really don't care about YouTube pumping me up in the algorithm, I do care about the folks who decided to lean over and listen to a little bit of what my life is about. All right, let's go for it. So what I'm talking about right there is I'm talking about that the um, let's just call it ejection without the front part of the word being on there. That ejection actually induced uh, DNA to change its pattern um, sequence. So we have genome editing. Go look it up. And genome you know, editing has been around for a while. You know, you can pick a child, any child, what color eyes they want. That's around. However, that was around from the beginning of after the deluge, the, the second deluge of the earth. The earth has been flooded more than one time. And because the earth has been flooded and reset more than one time, they make sure that you will own nothing and always be happy. 
See, it's always the game of making sure you own nothing and you better be happy. So in the process of knowing this, that we've been genoed, uh, it says let us. It actually means let us. And though we navigate in our minds, oh, it must be talking about the Trinity or something like that. No, it's not talking about the Trinity, actually. That story is older than uh, that story. <laughs> However, that tends to ruffle people the wrong way when they find more knowledge. But, you know, without knowledge, sometimes we perish. We, we, we fall for the scams and the tricks and the uh, buffoonerism and chaos that they produce here on the game called life. And I call it the game called life is because I'm old enough now to realize that I don't have to ponder or wonder about what anybody else is going to tell me. I know for myself that now I know that for 40 plus years, I pretty much played the game like everybody else. You know, you be, you, you, you be faithful to what you're faithful to and, and, and you do your routine. And then one day you wake up and you realize that just stuff just doesn't make sense and things are repeating too much. And then finally you actually have a real awakening to, oh my goodness, I just been doing what grandma and great grandpa and them were doing. I have not looked up. It's almost like the story of the ten virgins. Um, there's a story I learned about when I was younger. You can find it in the uh, the Bible, and it talks about ten virgins. Uh, five had oil in their lamp, and five did not have oil in their lamp. And now this thing about the uh, the moon, uh, the eclipse. When you hear people talking about hide that light, like if you're going to have a light in your home, if if the eclipse happens and it lasts longer than four minutes and it's, it lasts all day because maybe uh, these beings, these Anunnaki humanoids have decided, you know, they like to be called Elohims and gods, but they're actually not. No one's greater or lesser than you are. No one's made out of anything that you're not made out of. That's how you know that everyone actually is the same. Our rising and falling is the same. So I'm trying to stay uh, focused here because there's a lot of content that needs to be developed so that you can um, sort of kind of get yourself comfortable and remove yourself out of being a fright because that's what the genome is all about. Um, 10 5 6 5 is the original genome of Inky. Now, Inky is a Sumerian, um, let's say G-O-D. I don't even like that term because I know it represents dogma. It's the, uh, it's, it's the beast. Dog is a beast. So it's the Goyim word the Jews use for uh, uh, so-called Gentiles, people who are not of their um, Anunnaki, uh, Ozzy Nazi <laughs> uh, genome. Not that they're by themselves made, their genome made by the Anunnaki. All of our genomes have been uh, dabbled with the, the GGs, you know, those were considered the lesser um, dogmas or the lesser gods. And you see them a lot in movies and stuff like that. However, uh, the Anunnaki's were uh, brown skin uh, Sumerian uh, GODs who actually, uh, many stories have been written about them. A lot of plagiarism has gone on around their stories. And a lot of names have changed. Um, Inky, uh actually had a, a massive conception once um, his relative uh, actually killed him. And so he was able to reincarnate. And, and when he reincarnated, uh, evidently, some kind of way they said he elevated. But I don't think he elevated because um, though his story was a good story and, and a lot of people believe in his story, uh, a lot of people who serve him still rape and pillage children to this day. And they go to a lot of Diddy's parties. <laughs> but I ain't going to go there. Don't get me started. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to let the uh, video play. But understand this, that the 10-5-6-6-6-5 is a marker. The marker was given during the um, the whole world calling itself trying to shut down. That was a uh, placation. That's theater. That's um, them trying to put people in fear mode. If you go to fear mode, that's how you will um, uh, lessen your... Uh, let's call it inner glory. We all are a frequency, a flux. We are a hue, a human. A hue is a color. So everyone shines a certain color. The highest color is purple. That's love. And then underneath that, that's peace. That's the frequency you must get to. That's the, that's the, the, the energy you must hold, the spirit you must walk in. 
That's the spirit of love and truth and peace. And you have to obtain to this point because the Anunnaki, remember, are the ones who genoed us to lower our hue, to lower your hue, to lower your color. We're all spirit, energy. And a lot of people are orange and red right now because they're going along with the media saying they're, they're, they're allowing themselves to be uh, wrecked pretty much. So, you know, I'm talking a little longer than I thought I was going to talk. So I may have to extend this video over to my other two channels because I'm, 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 I'm spending some time uh, saying, look, whether or not on April the 8th, the darkness of three days arrive or not, there is a prominent X over the United States. It's the off. It's a letter of the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet. It looked like a snake tongue. That's all I'm going to say. You know, so um, I have videos talking about genoing on my other channels. Um, but I'll say as much as I can here. Uh, don't let them, though they may have marked the body, don't let them mark your mind. Now, you have to cast a mark on your own mind, meaning you have to state your mind on what it is I know that I will not do. And what you have to tell yourself that you will not do is move into fear. No matter, even if the veil, you can see through the veil because of what that ejection was, you still have to understand. You're just seeing through the veil, that dark veil, that dimensional veil. Now they're permitting you to see through it so it can pull you down into red and orange fire and, 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 and hatred energy frequency, not so much evil or good, but this just a frequency of those people and beings that have not been able to come up out of their nightmare here on this planet called earth. I'm trying to talk as best I can without sounding too, without being too complicated. Um, now you've heard, and some may have not heard that when you get this, this, this marker that somehow that, that, that you can't be quote unquote say, well, that was edited in there as well. What really is going on is you get the marker because they told you to get it to keep your job so you can go on vacations and all of this. You got the marker. However, the marker itself messes with your DNA, but we've already been messed with. It just lessens your capability of seeing higher things. It only allows you now to see lower frequency things, lower energy things. So... When you, if, if, if this day comes where there's three, there's three days of darkness, remember, don't be outside because the, it will be, those, those beings who are already here will be purposely looking for the fearful. So you have to just have your food, your water, your, 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 I don't even know if flashlight's going to work, but I know I heard that the wax candles will work and have you some. Uh, some um, some some songs in your mind that you love. Have some have some coloring books. Have some puzzles. Uh, I would even tell people, look, if if, if your happy place is playing spade, play some spade. <laughs> play some dominoes. Just be at peace because those things are not evil. Dominoes and spade isn't evil. Now, if you want to deem those things evil, then you can deem those things evil. But it only will be evil for you and those folks that think like you. For so as a man think it, so as a woman think it, so are they. It's, that's you, you have made your mind that that's evil. Now, there are some things that are low frequency and it's just obvious it's low frequency, like maybe going to Diddy's party. <laughs> but the whole point of the matter is this. Yes, there's a game being played. And the game isn't being played perfectly because they're already sacrificing animals for their sins over there in the land called Israel. However, that's Isis, Ra, which is uh, Munduk Ra. That's one of Inky's sons. But anyway, well, that's one of Anunnaki's sons. And then you got El, which is Elohim, the Most High, which actually would be considered Anu, which is an Anunnaki God who's black. Okay. 
not so much black race, but black skin color. You know, anyway, brown. He's a little bit darker than me. I saw him in a dream. A little bit darker than me. And these guys are, uh, some of them are actually awfully big and tall. However, they do, they will respect and regard you if you know who you are. If you're worshiping them and you're calling them God, if you're worshiping them, that's my husband, and calling them God, by no means are they going to respect you or regard what you want. See, so if they see you as a person with a slave mentality, a servant mentality, a worshiper mentality, they're going to treat you such. They're going to treat you just like they treat people that come to his parties. Mm -hmm. Go look into it. So all I'm saying is this. You got to make your mind up that even if you got it, you got to keep your mind from freaking out because you can see through the veil. And remind yourself, oh, I can see through the veil. I was told this. Okay, I shouldn't have got it. I got it. But remember, without condemning yourself, we all have already been geno whoo, way, 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 way back, way back before even Adam and Eve was even created. There were already people seated on the planet, which we come from. My husband's not used to me answering the phone. He's probably thinking something happened because it's storming out here. However, I'm going to let this go ahead and play. And y'all listen up, okay? So let me explain that part. So what I'm trying to say is there's like a, a um, starting from California, the tip of California, there's like a, 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 a V that's heading up through America, all the way up to New York, all the way down through Texas, all the way down to Louisiana, part of Mississippi, but not a lot of Mississippi, Arkansas, up, 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 up. up. And then there's a line that goes from, um, let's say, um, Colorado, it slices through uh, um um, Oklahoma, it's like a, it's like a, a, a off leather. Okay. It's off. So it's like, to me, it almost looks like the, the NASA logo, hmm? the serpent tongue of the NASA, Ozzy Nazi, the Nazi, the, uh, NASA, Nazi, not na anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to say it without my video being removed. Um, so it, th they're petty. When you're really trying to casually just tell people, hey, um, the world is being placated. This is theater. This is a show. You think that this, your life is like what you think it is because you're so focused on being busy with your life, but there is a lot of people out here doing things in secret and and, and, and and occultic, which occultic doesn't mean so much evil. It just means in the dark, hidden, secret-like that you don't know about. And a person like me who I have a blessed life because I have made up my mind that while I'm here on the land of the living, my life shall be what I say it is. I give nobody power or authority over my life. I did that for 40 plus years. And from this day forth, I will open my eyes and look around and see. And anybody that I can help, I will help. But I don't force anybody to look over here at me and see what I see. But this morning I was like, you know what? I'm not trying to say I'll lose all three channels. But if that happens, then that's just what it be. Um, it just shows I care too much. <laughs> probably care too much, girl. You probably care too much. Care, you know, <laughs> you know. And this could very well rub you the wrong way, piss you off, and say, I'm out of here. And it's like, you're out of here or you're staying, but guess what? I don't get paid either way because my channel never will be monetized. That's not why I'm out here. I'm just out here. <laughs> Continue. So I was laughing there because this is the thing. The thing is, is that they're trying to cross all T's and dot every I, okay? More of us that wake up to it, the less likely they're able to make what they want manifest. I have dreamed about it. I have dreamed that the earth will go down. However, it did not, in my dream, it did not manifest the way they wanted. A lot of people are having, putting on white clothes. They wanted the rapture to happen. And I kept saying, y'all, it is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. If you, if, if anything happens, you have to wake up. 
and keep all in your lamp. You are the lamp. You have to keep all in you. And what is all? Having that spark, having that energy, having that life in you to understand we're in a game. He said, well, this is the spirit of blah, blah, blah. I understand. I understand. I understand. But you are an eternal spirit. And you are, you are not separated from anything that's love and good. Nor am I. Understand that as soon as you tap into fear, you using that all up. As soon as you tap into upsetness, you're using your all up. And what's your all? It's a flux. It's a frequency. It's a, it's a way to walk in that will secure your way out of the game called life. Instead of going back into the recycling center on the moon. That's why the moon's important right now. The moon is a center that Inky and Maduk sat on and, and they measured our, our cycles of the stars and they measured everything. Life is not what you think it is. And there's a few of us out here trying to say just a few, just a few saying, stop looking up to somebody. Go in, do with yourself, fix some stuff. Work on yourself. Get the upsetness out. Get the unforgiveness out. You have to do the work. It's not for uh, in order to go to a place called heaven or go to a place called hell. That's the construct of your own mind. See, that's the construct of your own mind. You judge your own self. A lot of people don't want to accept this. You judge your own self because can't nobody judge you but you. And why? Because nobody got a right to judge you but you. Because we're all the same. We're all one. Me, you, him, her, we all one. And the one you say sit high, we all one. The one you say sit low, we all one. And a lot of people just, it, it goes, and look, this, this, this Geno thing, this 10, 5, 6, 6, 5 marker thing, it will even make you miss the simple thing I just said right there. You'll even miss that. That's what they don't want you to get. I am unaware, an, uh, an awakened soul to the point right in the midst of all the storm and chaos. I still walk in peace right in the midst of seeing everything clear and plain. I can see everything clear and plain. I remind myself every day. Hey, character in the game called life. Understand there's nothing to fear or fret about. And as long as you have knowledge about it, it cannot cause you to faint or perish. But you got to get that knowledge because once your brain receives that information and you can cipher through it and you can decode it, and your mind can say, oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, they're trying to play me. Yes, they're playing you. They need you to look up to somebody, to bow down before somebody. So in doing that. You locked in, baby. You locked into the game and you're going to be reincarnated again. You're going to be reborn again on the planet called Earth. Right back into your family's DNA lineage where you will pick up those same iniquities which will bend you towards a certain direction and you'll be doing stuff you thought you weren't going to do, stuff you thought you didn't have to do, you'll be doing it. And so people say, well, I don't believe in disembodied spirits. Have y'all not known this thing that's going on in the game right now where people say, I, I, I have a penis, but I'm a woman. Oh, I, I, I'm going to marry a bridge. Oh, I'm a furry. Oh, uh, 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 like uh, uh, Sasha Fierce, Beyonce says she got Sasha Fierce. And Nicki Minaj says she got a boy living in her and somebody else living in her. And, and, and what the, Lady Gaga said that, that, that she shape shifts. Yeah, these people be saying it right out in the open. So let me explain that. So I got family being all loud in the background. However, okay, so so earlier I was talking about a color. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, okay? It's for those folks who need reference. So the light that's within you that can get lit, it can get burnt out or it can you can you can help it to endure. You and the quickest way to get it burnt out is to turn orange or red. That's the easiest way to get it burnt out. Staying in anger, fear, and frustration, unforgiveness. It, it, this really has nothing to do with going to heaven. It has everything to do with you staying on the earth. They say the meat shall inherit the earth. 
y'all, that sounds like a good thing. But it really isn't a good thing because this is not our abode. Heaven isn't the abode and hell isn't the abode. Eternal freedom potential is the goal. Potential. That's found in the void. Negative nor positive. It's in the void. And I may be speaking a little too... Um, um, I'll only hear a few folks talking about the void because a lot of people are afraid of the void because they have to do with themselves in the void. And a lot of people, when they go in the void sometimes, because they, they have fear in them, they can't... It's like being at home by yourself sometimes when you're at home by yourself and you're so happy at home by yourself. Some people can't take being alone because they haven't dealt with themselves. This will be a trying time like I say, this is a May, but believe me, they going to keep trying. They going to keep trying. They, they need us to look up and say, oh, the aliens are coming across the border, <laughs> uh, uh, out of the uh, ocean, <laughs> from uh, the doorways in the, in the uh, uh, clouds, because there are doorways there. They, they need for you to be looking for help. They need for you to be looking for someone to, to save them from this trouble, as R uh, Ronald Reagan said. You know, what if one day... The world got so bad off that we would uh, 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 need each other once someone comes to earth to, to harm us. Well, that's just a story. No one can harm you, see, if you are not in their frequency, if you're not in their hue of color. They can't mess with you. And a lot of people will put themselves under other hues. They will put themselves under titles of different gods and some of these gods um if you cross all your t's and dot all your eyes they, they, they may and they're not gods they're humanoids but people call them gods the anunnaki enlil inky go look them up and you look them up the sisters their goddesses all of it and people say that can't be true well, well <laughs> i don't know what to tell you just understand that i'm going to cut this video off uh, off at this point because I feel like enough has been said. I could take it to the end, but I think enough has been said. I don't want to, maybe I should just jump over a few minutes to the end, but yeah. And believe me, a lot of us only want to know as far back as our information goes and what we believe. The crazy thing is this. We play ourselves because we're too in the flux or the energy or the frequency or the spirit of fear to be willing to look past 5,000 years at information, to look at stuff that looks like other stuff, to look at Mother Mary and her son and look at Madonna and her son and look at all the other people and, and look at the stories, the, look at the book of Yasher, the book of Enoch. <laughs> Look at all these books and say, you know what? <sighs> the book of Gigamesh. Look at stuff. However, because our Gino went from 10565 to a lot of people now 105665, it's going to be very hard for a person to. You just going to have to just go and. You you don't say, well, I, won't, I have to feel it. I got to feel it. What if the marker has caused you not to be able to feel it, to feel it, to feel it? Remember, we were told the heart is deceitful above all things. The heart is deceitful above all things. Perpetually wicked. That's what I was taught as a child. So I thought about it. If my heart so perpetually wicked above all things, then how the heck did I lean to my heart? To confess, Inky, Enlil, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahuwah, as my God for so long. If my heart was so deceitfully wicked, I, how did I trust my heart? How did I was I moved by my heart? I ain't gonna mess with y'all. But all I'm saying is this: I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hesitate putting this video out here. I was gonna say I just won't put the video out here, and so be, so be, because I'm not responsible for nobody. But I will. I still will.